Well, the street has been reopened, and I can tell you that within the last half hour, the fire marshals have just left. Crews were out here all day. As for the residents here, some of them were allowed back in. Others have been displaced, about 40 of them, and they are now staying at nearby hotels. As far as injuries from the fire this morning, we're told that five residents and a firefighter were treated on the scene, and two, two of the residents had to be brought to the hospital. They were stabilized, but we do not know the extent of their injuries. However, we have learned that the man accused of setting this fire is one of those brought to the hospital. I could barely breathe. It was a lot of smoke, and I could sink in in there. Thank goodness for a police officer helped me down the stairs. It was a frightening experience for residents of the downtown Suffolk Tower apartments. They were suddenly awakened at about 4 in the morning. One man who didn't want to be identified said he's lived here for 12 years and was working the graveyard shift when the fire broke out. But hours afterward, he was able to get back to the fifth floor where investigators say the fire started. A lot of smoke damage across the hall in general. Officials say 69-year-old Herbert Booth, who lives on the fifth floor, is charged with arson and that more charges are expected. That news surprised this longtime resident. Like I said, he always sits out here on the front board, um, on the front bench here. He's always a people watcher. He watches cars go by and he waves. He's, he's a permanent person of the area. And as firefighters check to see if it was safe for residents to get back in and gather essential belongings, historic Main Street United Methodist Church, just across the street, opened its doors to help their neighbors. And I'm just glad that nobody didn't get seriously hurt. That's the most important thing. Is human life. Eric Hyman is a retired probation officer and now property manager for the church. Personally, it makes me feel good because I know I'm still protecting the community in some type of form or fashion. And, it was just great to assist those and now here live in Suffolk, I can tell you that Main Street has once again been reopened and the, on the ground floor there's a pub called Barron's Pub. It has just opened within the last few minutes. He says there is no damage there and of course we'll keep you updated on the latest online and on air. For now, I'm Angela Bohan, live in Suffolk.